I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Couch cast edition. Oh boy. First couch cast of the season. We are here with a listener question. Are you ready for this? I was born ready. Awesome. Let's, <laughs> what are my number choices? <laughs> I tried to go right through that with a straight face and I couldn't do it. Just okay. here. Okay. I'm going to go with number, what was that, to through 18 or 20? Okay. Number six. Okay, number six. Y'all ready? Yeah. That was a terrible drum roll. Um, <laughs> would you recommend dating someone you work with? Ooh. Okay. I'm going to have to get hypothetical on this one because literally all of the men, I, I've worked at a small company and then at my church, and literally they were all either in high school, like helping, or married. Yeah, all my male coworkers are married, too. Yeah. This girl gave us a scenario, though, so let me oh, read this to you. even better. So she says, I've been working at my current job for almost two years now. Okay. There's this guy who works in another department, and we've been friends since I started working there. Great start. Okay. A group of us hung out outside of work quite a few times, and the two of us have texted once in a while, and we FaceTimed last week. I'm starting to like him as more than a friend, but I don't know if it's a good idea to pursue this since we work together. What are your thoughts? interesting do you ever facetime someone you're not no, okay me like either. great sign i was like tracking i was like okay okay and then she said that and i was like oh i think he might be interested my one question which i don't think this would be the case because she says he's in another department but with covid looming if uh-huh. you facetimed because of work oh. and you had a talk that's different but i feel like you would still use zoom even in that case but if you're Very FaceTiming good point. just for the sake of FaceTiming, that's a great sign I agree. that he's interested. Yeah. I personally don't have a problem dating with somebody that I work with. I mean, right now I do because they're all married, <laughs> but theoretically speaking. Yeah. And I think for this girl in particular, this is probably one of the best scenarios because he's in a different department. Yep. He's not on your team. Mm-hmm. You're not, I don't know what kind of place you work at here, but... It doesn't seem like your job is hinging upon his work and you've been friends for two years, which is a great, it's like Jim and Pam. (laughs) Aw. Like, no friends and then Has he been there that whole two years? She said, we've been friends since I started working there. So yeah, he's been there the whole time. That's what I was going to say. Like, I think if it were me, I don't advocate dating dating contingent on how it will end (laughs) like dating Mm. basically like good point don't but in this situation if you're in a really small company like maybe your department is you and the other department is him around the corner like you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. it's a different department maybe there's two people in each department and you all work within 30 feet of each other so i I can say i don't go into it expecting it to fail but i would think hard about if it did what would continuing to work there look like? That would be something that would be a big consideration for me. If he's two floors down in a different department or you never interact with him for work reasons or rarely or whatever, then great. I think it's fine. I also, I, I kind of missed the part about they've been friends for two years. I was going to say instead of, Oh, we've gone out with some friends in a group a couple of times, maybe make that 10 or 12 times. Like, get to know him in that friendship context because it may be that y'all hang out a few more times and you're like, Oh, this thing came up and I'm really glad it did because that's a deal breaker for me. And you haven't gotten into the crossed that dating line. So anyone in this situation, you're the only one that kind of knows how well you know each other, but if it's still really surface and you're like, Oh, I just have a crush on this guy. I would say get to know him in a more platonic setting better first So that then you can make a more informed decision of, do I want to pursue dating him? Um, It might save you some trouble as opposed to just jumping straight straight into dating. And after three dates, you're like, oh, this is not going to work. And then it's awkward. Yeah. Well, and not to compare real life to the office, but I'm going to try. Please do. (laughs) We, when you, I think about, um, I can't remember, it, it was some monumental like nostalgic episode either when at the end of the series or when uh jim was talking to dwight about angela i can't remember when he's talking about like the whole time 
like when I was getting to know Pam being her friend, like I knew I was waiting for my wife and I get so I sappy every, every time. single time he says that. But you watch that he was so and obviously she it's was when he's engaged at the rehearsal dinner. He's toasting. Yes. And he's like Yeah. I, I knew, knew I was, I was waiting, waiting for, for my, my wife. wife. <laughs> and then he goes and tells everybody she's pregnant. Um good job, she, Jim. But yeah. No, seriously, though, and obviously she was engaged, which throws a kink in things, but that aside, there was a friendship that was built, and there, which sounds like exactly what this girl is doing for almost two years now, but they knew they got along. They knew they had, like, a similar sense of humor. There was that banter and that flirtation that was there, and um, they had something to build a relationship on and something to transition into from their friendship. Exactly. And it made the biggest difference. And so I think if you can establish that, and honestly, this might be a little easier to do than you think, because when you work with somebody, you see them a ton. Like, I mean, what is that? A third of your week or something you spend at work or a fourth of it or something Uh like that. That you are in the same place as this person. That's not including if you have, like, they go out afterwards or they're texting or whatever. Just solely seeing this person, you're getting a lot of time with them. Yeah. And so you have a lot of opportunity to build that friendship, to get to know them. And so you have a really good chance of setting yourself up well to move into a relationship. So I definitely would... I'm not, I wouldn't say shy away from it all, but like Bethany said, really, if you're in a smaller setting or a smaller company, really think about, okay, does the risk out or does the reward outweigh the risk yep. here? Um, even if I don't get the reward, but am I willing to risk? There might be a little awkwardness. There may be some tension. Am I still going to want to work here? Uh, if you really love your job and you could imagine yeah. doing anything else, you really need to think through that. Not to say you shouldn't do it just for the fear that it might not work out, but really take the time to consider these things because if you just go in throwing caution to the wind and then three months later it doesn't work out and you haven't considered any of this, it's going to be really difficult for you to sort through something you haven't given much thought to already. Yeah, and along those lines, I would try to subtly find out if your company has a rule Mm. about dating co-workers great point um and then decide which do you like better this guy or your job like i'm being a little dramatic but like you know think that through and then one thing i would throw out too just kind of talking about building that friendship and getting to know each other is how confident are you that he likes you too because while i i'm fine with saying date a co-worker yeah i would only want if i'm in the position of being the one asking out or I'm the one who's going to make that move and I'm the one who's going to say something. I can't think of much more mortifying than asking a guy out that you work with and him saying no because you've misread his interest and then having to see him regularly. Uh-uh. Yeah. <sighs> it gives me a pit in my stomach just thinking about it. So I would just in that friendship context kind of start to gauge does he seem to be like the things we've talked about on all these episodes is he singling you out is he talking to you more all of those things it's figure out if it's mutual before you do anything drastic i Mm -hmm. think is what i would do even if you have to ask a friend that's what i was just about like whatever you have to do find out before yeah yeah leverage one of your other coworkers that knows both of you you maybe they can like drop a hint or something because if you've listened to our um I think it was the All About Us episode we did in yeah. season one. We both talked about like our most awkward dating encounter or something like that. And I tell the story about how a guy I worked with, I didn't really have a friendship with him. We didn't ever really talk. And he basically came up and asked me out. I was talking to another guy at the time. I hadn't made that super public, so I had to tell him that, but... It was the most (laughs) awkward thing I think I've ever experienced. And if he had gone about it this way, then it would have been totally different for him because I didn't see him in that way. It wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot in common there. There was, you know, a lot of 
things. But he didn't take the time to build the friendship. He didn't find out from like a trusted source if I was even interested, if I was talking to somebody else, if I was dating somebody else. And then it was very awkward for both of us for the yeah. next few weeks and more so probably for him than for me but <laughs> still it's very uncomfortable so yeah. really really do uh do the leg work at the beginning as much as you can absolutely and even if it takes a little longer before you hopefully can transition into dating this person it will be well worth the wait if you've done your due diligence on the front end yeah yeah you won't regret taking that extra time in this context i don't think absolutely okay guys well that's all we've got for you today thanks so much for joining us we will be back on wednesday with another full-length episode for y'all we are going to be talking about dating for the beginner which is another one that y'all voted on so it'll be a great episode so tune in for that but until then I'm Kristen. And I'm Bethany. And this is Looking for the Middle. Mm -hmm.